is an egg. It's been hard boiled and peeled, so there's no shell on it. This is a flask, and this is hot water. I pour the hot water into the flask, which means the air inside the flask starts to heat up. And when it heats up, it expands, and some escapes through the top of the bottle. I pour the water out, and then I cap the flask with the egg. Now this expanded air is starting to cool again, which means it's lower pressure, which means the higher pressure on the outside of the flask pushes the egg in. Ha-ha! <laughs> Fun! And then, to get the egg out, you... hmm. Ah, I can reverse it. If I blow into the flask, I can increase the pressure inside. <laughs> Science! And now let's max it out. Max out container! Okay, pour out the water. Oh, careful, careful. And now I put this water balloon on the top and we'll just see what happens. The hot expanded air inside the container is cooling and reducing in pressure, which means the higher pressure outside the container, it's happening, pushes the balloon in. It's happening! Oh. <laughs> Maxed out! Hmm. They don't know that we live on the bottom of an ocean of air. It's called the atmosphere. And compared to the Earth, it's really thin. I mean, it's about as thin as this. Huh? Huh, look at that, not very thick at all. But it's a good thing the atmosphere is around and not just for breathing. Though I am a fan of breathing. What do we want? Breathing! When do we want it? All the time. But did you know the atmosphere has different layers? It's true. I will walk you through them. No, I mean, come on, you gotta you got come with me. I'm walking over to walk you through them. Okay, the troposphere. This is the layer where we are all existing right now, where all of our weather happens. There's a lot of air molecules in this layer. Think, think of these balloons as air molecules. There's a lot of air in this layer. <laughs> Yay, air! Next layer, the stratosphere. There's less air molecules in this layer, and it's where jets fly. Next layer, the mesosphere. There's even fewer air molecules in here, and it's where meteors burn up and turn into shooting stars. Fire, 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 fire! The thermosphere. Not many air molecules left up here, and this is where the northern lights, the auroras happen. Woo! Northern lights! And finally, the exosphere. This is as high as the atmosphere goes. This is where satellites orbit, and if you see any air molecules up here, they're just passing through. Hello. And after that, nothing but the vacuum of space. Ooh, the vacuum of space. Of course, you know it's not that kind of vacuum, right? Right, vacuum just means no air. There you go, the atmosphere. The only thing separating us from the vacuum of space! <laughs> Roberta, your space vacuum got broken. I don't know.